How you doing? This is Ivan with Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People, and I'm back with another quote of the day to have a great day. Today, our quote is by Lucille Ball. The quote is, I have an everyday religion that works for me. Love yourself first, and everything else falls into line. I think most people understand that unless you love yourself, you cannot really love anyone else. If we don't have a loving relationship with our very own self, we will project any of our weaknesses onto the other person and end up sabotaging and limiting our relationship. It seems basic that we should learn to love our own selves. And on the surface, many people believe or think they love themselves, but their behavior will show otherwise. And what most people call love is just a superficial identification with a conceptual me, which just makes us more egoistic and separate from others. We can be sure that Donald Trump is in love with Donald Trump. So what is it that keeps us from loving ourselves? The short answer is ignorance. We simply don't have a deep and proper understanding of who or what we are. We only know who we think we are. And thought is memory. And our memories are conditioned through our experiences with life. Our identity becomes an object to us. We then derive our sense of identity from our thinking conscious mind. But who we really are is the silent subject of all experiencing, that from which thought arises, the space-like awareness from which all the content of the mind arises. We get caught up and lost in the mind's content, losing sight of the subject. So the greatest act of love is learning to simply recognize the thought-free awareness and abiding as that as much as you can each day. When you know yourself as the thought-free awareness, the pure presence, you don't need to think about who you are. You know from the inherent isness of presence. Your thought-based identity will lose its hold on you. You then use thought for its utility value. It slows down and you're able to rest in your true, spacious, peaceful nature. But if you are fused to your objectified sense of self, then the mind will try to convince you that it needs to stay in charge. And since the mind is an object, it needs movement to maintain its control over you. When you learn to rest in silence, like in meditation, it will sense its death and rebel. But this is also why it's important to develop a friendly relationship with your mind, with your ego. Being an object, it has no inherent intelligence of its own, it can only refer to other thoughts. If you have a friendly attitude, you can slowly educate the mind until it sees that it need not be afraid of the unknown, of thought-free awareness. Then you can be in a position where the mind surrenders on its own. Directly coercing the mind to be quiet doesn't work, simply because you're giving it energy to continue its movement and apparent identity. So every day, the best way to love yourself is to take a few minutes to turn your attention around from external and internal objects to the very source by returning attention on the subject itself. You can do this by gently observing your thoughts arise from awareness and subside back into awareness and learning to intuit that that, that which sees thought arise and subside is awareness itself and rest as the background. It will take some time and self-knowledge to properly distinguish objectless awareness because initially thought will imitate and pose as the observer and since it has the ability to reflect presence it can try to claim that it is awareness that is observing but this would just be thought observing thought which many seekers get stuck on believing they are seeing from presence things get very subtle the deeper you go in time, if you are sincere and diligent in your self-development work, you will come to recognize objectless awareness by inner taste and abide in your presence more and more until it becomes your predominant way of being in the world. It will be a palpable experiencing of awareness. Then you can work on integrating and becoming a balanced human being, a holistic vision of both the spiritual and human dimensions of life. This is when you will become the master. Whether there's thought there or not won't matter since you will be established in your real identity. The mind will then be in its proper place 
of being our servant. And as our quote mentioned, then everything else will fall into place. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's quote and topic. If you did, please help me out and hit the subscribe button, the like button, and please share with anyone who may find my content to be valuable. If you are new to my channel, check out my essential self-development playlist. There's a lot of good stuff there. And until next time, wherever you are in the world, I hope you're doing well. Take care. Peace.